In this video, you'll see how to replicate source networks with AWS Elastic Disaster Recovery, or AWS DRS. With this feature, you can track network changes on your VPCs and perform quick updates that will be automatically replicated to ensure compliance and maintain security. We'll begin in the AWS Elastic Disaster Recovery Console and navigate to our available source networks. Here we can review details for each source network, such as its replication status, its source VPCs, regions, and account IDs, and pending actions. For a source network to replicate, the replication agent must be installed on the individual servers. For this example, we've already installed the replication agent on our network's source server. Additionally, we have already selected an S3 bucket with bucket versioning enabled that will be used for failover in case the network configuration is stalled. Let's replicate one of our source networks right now. The source network is replicating. Now let's select it and initiate a recovery job. The recommended option is to update a previously deployed stack. For demonstration purposes, we'll create and deploy a new stack and initiate the recovery job. The recovery process has started. Let's view the job details. The network configuration has deployed successfully and the job has ended. You've just seen how to replicate source networks with AWS Elastic Disaster Recovery. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.